Ah, hello. I hope you can hear me all right. This is Nick in his garden again. I'm Nick Hennigan, the writer. Oh, that's a pear just falling from the tree. I don't know if you heard that. Writer and director of the uh, London Literary Pubcrawl.com. And I'm in my garden in West London. Um, we're doing an article, uh, a blog post called 52 Things to Do in London, uh, which gives you something to do every weekend. Uh, and I thought I'd do that, um, and I'm doing it, but you can see it on our Literary Pub Crawl blog page. But I've had a few emails from people who are saying, uh, what's the best place, or where's the best place to stay in London? So it got me thinking, I thought I'd just do a quick little video. Um, there isn't really a best place to stay in London. If you're coming from overseas, depending on where you fly into, there are transport hubs. For instance, Heathrow is quite good to be around Paddington. Um, so if you're looking for a hotel to stay, well, the other thing is that there are variations on the hotel. You don't have to stay on a hotel. If you're on a budget, then you can stay in a hostel where you actually sort of rent a bed rather than a whole room. And the other thing I've done a blog about is uh, if you're on a real budget, think about camping. There's a thing called the Camping and Caravanning Club in Britain, and I'll put the address somewhere on this video when I've figured out where it can go. Uh, and uh, they have caravan sites and camping sites. One is in Abbey Wood, which I mention on my blog, uh, and there's, uh, there's a few of them around. Anyway, I'll put a link, and you can get somewhere from sort of £20 a night. They also have pods, kind of yurt-like places to live in. So if you fancy doing something a bit different, then do that. Uh, generally, if you're coming to London, probably the best place to stay is Zone 1 or 2. And what I mean by Zone 1 or 2 is that if you go to Transport for London, the Tube map, there's a list of all the Tube stations, and there, the further from the centre of London you get, the greater the number gets. So Zone 1 is right slap bang around the centre of London, Zone 2 is a bit further out, Zone 3 is a bit further out, Zone 4, and so on and so forth. So um, try and base yourself, if you want the real touristy London experience, Zone 1 is the place to be. Um, but the further you get out of the centre, the cheaper the prices get. And of course, there aren't that many people living in Zone 1 apart from millionaires. <laughs> Multi-millionaires, in fact, living in Zone 1 is hugely expensive. Uh, so Zone 2 is fine, Zone 1, Zone 2, maybe Zone 3, parts of Zone 3. You'll also probably get a more authentic London. I'm, for instance, in Chiswick, which is West London. We've got Hammersmith, which is just down the road. Richmond and Richmond Park's a bit further out, another zone or so. Uh, if you want the real villagey thing, then there's Wimbledon. Or in fact, Richmond itself is quite a nice place to go to. Um, so uh, I'd try and find myself somewhere within one or two would be ideal, perhaps zone three. Um, and that's about it. That's all I thought I'd say about coming to London. And I hope that answers your question, John, in Pennsylvania who sent me the email. Uh, and if you've got any other questions, please do comment below. I think that's how you do it on this thing, is it? Uh, or send an email to londonliteraryprobcrawl.com. Go to our website and there's a contact us page. And I'll see you soon. Sun's shining. And the pears are falling from the trees. It's a very leafy city, is London. Yeah, very leafy.